All right, let's get this started. Okay, A.T., your turn. Well, first, you boil a chicken. Yep. About a three or four pound fryer. Yeah. And reserve the broth. Yep. So now, we got that done. Because I'm making a double batch. Right. So I have one, two bell peppers chopped. Yep. Going right in the pot. Two pots. <laughs> okay, do, do, yeah, because she's making a double batch, everybody. Because we're at a big family reunion. Yep. And there are 22 of us. Right. Yeah. When it comes to a bowl, I'll add a pound of spaghetti each, chicken. Okay. And I'm working on my white sauce. Yeah. And let's get to that. And I know we didn't start at the beginning, guys. We weren't going to tape this, but I said, oh my gosh, I want to tape it. So this is where she's making her basic white sauce. Low and slow, y'all. I say it all the time, low and slow. That's how you get the best quality. So it's taking a while, because remember, she's making a double batch. Okay, if you're me, and it gets lumpy, yeah, I put it in a blender. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> or just get a stick blender and stick it right there in the pan. Yeah, and I put it, uh, used, my beaters. Yeah. If it's too lumpy, but usually with a good wire whip, yeah, you'll be fine. Right. I do this every time I come over to visit in Georgia. It's a family tradition now, and I learned it from my sweet mother-in-law, Sue Moore Hudson. Right. You know, chicken she's passed away now. Yeah. Chicken Tetrazzini is one of my family's favorite comfort food go-to casseroles. Yeah. When my boys come home, they always expect me to make it. And uh, we always serve it with French bread and salad. It's a complete meal, and it freezes well. Uh, when my mother was sick, I would make her tetrazzini in small, microwavable, corning wear bowls and take it to her and she would have it in the freezer and she'd be okay. Loving from Trisha Zevin. That's right. Hey, sounds like a future channel. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing but love for you, baby. Hey, y'all. Um, I was just going to throw in here in between Patricia talking um, as usual all the actual ingredients and measurements will be down below uh, as well as basic instructions if you have a different question you can uh, comment below or something and Patricia and I will answer it we'll be back in a bit bye okay the sauce is thickening it's beautiful and it's getting thick and we'll give you an update and everything's cooking and we will be back with you and update you in a moment okay y'all this is the uh, chicken in both the pans and then I'll bring you back and let Trisha walk you through what's going on okay if that's chicken in the pan she was talking about see you in a minute all right what are you doing a pound of spaghetti in each pot and of course as she told you, she's making a double batch, so, you know, you'd probably just have one of these pots going. Unless you don't you have to break it. Yeah. Well, no, but it's just easier. Okay, go ahead. All right. She's going to add this spaghetti in. And give it a good stir. We're bringing the broth back up to a bowl. It's been on simmer for a while. Letting onions and bell pepper cook. And we'll bring you back when that spaghetti's cooking. We're going to give a good stir and we'll bring you back. This is chicken tetrazzini. And I use Velveeta. Not American not a pound of America. <laughs> I use two pounds of Velveeta because everybody in the South knows it melts well. That's right. No lumps. No glops. I love my Velveeta. That's right. So it's two pounds of Velveeta in with your bell pepper, onion, broth, brought it and back to the bowl. spaghetti. Yeah, she brought it back to a bowl, she added the spaghetti, gave it a good stir, and now she's adding the Velveeta. 
so I'm melting my Velveeta and I'm, then I'll yeah. add my white sauce and four cups of flour beautiful white sauce perfect couldn't have been more perfect and then I'll pour it in my pan where we've layered it one layer of the the chicken right pieces and I'll I'll oh, show you a picture of that piece. This, of course, in the regular video, y'all. I'm just piecing this together. It's a family reunion, having a good time. I just came for a visit. Yeah, <laughs> she came for a visit. Of course, we call that a family reunion every time. And uh, we're having fun. And as you you might can hear a lot of crazy little kids in the background having fun. Nice to see you, Trinidad. Welcome to my world. <laughs> All right. I'll check back in in a minute. Okay, I forgot to film her. She put the white sauce in, she split it amongst the two pots, gave it a good stir, and I'll bring you back when we're going to put it over the chicken, okay? Okay, guys, I forgot to film it. 300 for 30 minutes until it's hot and bubbly all over. I'll bring you back when we take it out. Okay, y'all, here is the chicken tetrazzini, fresh from the oven. We're letting it rest. Let it rest for in between about 15 minutes. And I know that's going to be really good. Okay, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know it wasn't one of my regular videos. She's my quote first guest star. So there you have it. Yummy chicken tetrazzini, Patricia style. Chicken tetrazzini and French bread. Salad in the fridge with chocolate delight pie for dessert. I love you. I love you. Okay, y'all. I just want to say thank you to my first guest star, my sweet sister cuz, Patricia. Visiting from Colorado, from Louisiana, just like me. And we're going to have a good time. And thank you so much for your recipes. And I'm going to try to edit this and get it up for y'all. If you have any questions, you, you can ask Trish or me. One of us will answer it. Okay? Bad children. I see that. <laughs> All right. We'll see you. Bye. Bye-bye.